Okay, I've uh, I've been excited to make this video, and I finally get to make it. So we're gonna we're gonna set up a new skateboard. I didn't want to throw that. That one's uh, <laughs> that one's not mine. Okay, well, that took a little bit longer than I expected and the sun is setting and we don't have much daylight, so I guess we're gonna catch a quick session while we can. That's not good. I literally just got this tripod like 15 minutes ago so that I could film this video and uh, I guess it didn't last that long. I think the camera's okay. I hope the camera's okay and the lens, everything looks, everything looks, oh, that got my heart going. A lot of you probably remember Arbor Skateboards who has been supporting me since very, very, very early in both my skateboarding and my YouTube career, I want to say like 2016. I think 2016 is when it started. What is up guys? So today we have a sort of different video. Um, it's going to be a board setup video. Um, I know I posted a board setup video not too long ago, like a few days ago. But this is a different board setup video because I got a new board sponsor. Arbor Skateboard, as you can see right there. There's no glare, but Arbor. Come to Arbor Venice. Tell them I sent you. Set up the 8.25 Arbor board. Oh, it feels so much better to be back on like a regular size skateboard. <sighs> this one has one less because I gave one to Ben like you guys saw earlier. These are just the white ones. That's so many skateboards. I physically don't think that I could skate this many boards at any given point in my life. Let alone the fact I'm probably going to knock on my door in the next two seconds saying I have more skateboards for me, so. So, oh, bro, I just found these on the lawn right now. And then somewhat recently, like 2023, I made that video kind of addressing what happened between me and Arbor, which nothing really happened, but that's what happened. There was just sort of a, a lack of communication going through different people at the company, different people on my management team, different addresses, and it sort of just lost that connection. I don't know if you guys remember that video. Arbor Skateboards. Arbor, I love you guys if you're watching this. So Arbor was unable to send me decks just because they didn't have decks because they didn't have wood because of the supply chain issues and again this is just what I've heard through you know my point of contact there my management all of that to the best of my knowledge true where I'm going with this is that Arbor has been supporting me I want to say longer than any company I've ever worked with or been with and the only reason that it came to an end or came to a pause was due to just communication issues and kind of getting lost in the time of COVID and all that weird stuff. So, I have something to show you guys. I'm kind of just assuming it's skateboards. If it's not skateboards, it's gonna be super awkward and I'll probably edit it out, but it looks like a skateboard shaped box. Okay, wow, the lighting here is terrible, okay. So, we have a, we have a box. I'm sure you can see where this video is going. Essentially, since that video I made, I have reconnected with the new point of contact at Arbor. Again, you can see where this is going. Was I right? I was indeed right. We have skateboards. Oh, we have more skateboards. Ha <laughs> ha! Wow, look at 
look at that. Damn, these must be a new, I haven't seen these ones yet. We got these, it's a Grayson Fletcher Pro model, which is what I've been riding. You've probably seen me riding this graphic lately. These are, uh, these are sick. Skateboards! I, uh, I ride for Arbor again. Yeah, it feels like, it feels like I'm back home. You know what I mean? Like I've been, I was with them for so many years, so early in my both skateboarding and social media career that it just feels, it just feels right, you know? I love the boards. I've been skating the boards. A lot of people have kind of assumed this was coming. You guys have seen me riding Arbor boards, I want to say for like four or five months now, but nothing was official, like nothing was set in stone until literally yesterday. So I can finally, I can finally talk about it. So I think I will show off these beautiful skateboards in some sort of artsy cinematic YouTube B-roll montage. And then it is a beautiful, beautifully hot day today. I think it's only fair to skate the beautiful backyard skate park now that we actually have time to skate and break in that new board. And the beans have been spilled, so whew, let's get it. Why are my switch trays so bad? Ugh, oh, I got everything else pretty decent. It's always a switch tray. Oh, I go so far to the side. Okay, I'm gonna, next one. Next one I'm landing. I'm gonna pretend that I skate regular. Can you see how much my shins are sweating? Dude, this is embarrassing. I gotta wear darker pants, all right. Oh my god. I just don't get it. Nollie trays seem to work. Like I feel like I can do those somewhat decent. But something about switch. Same with kickflips too. I can nollie kickflip fine. But switch kickflips just look like doo-doo. Switch tray. Just a tray flip. But switch. Come on. Oh my god. Alright, well. That's a trick to work on. I feel like I got everything else. Everything else good. Kick flip in every stance, heel flip in every stance, tray flip in every stance, and the switch one sucked, but. All right. That whole debacle, that switch debacle got me thinking. You guys know that whenever I'm skating the backyard, I wanna try to learn, you know, at least one new trick or push myself in some way. I was thinking on the little box here, we could try, it's not, I don't think it's gonna be the most entertaining to watch because they're simple tricks, but for me, it's like a step forward. Try just skating switch, like switch and ollie is for sure my, my weak, my biggest weakness in skateboarding. Let's just do some simple tricks, switch 50, 50, switch 5 -0, switch tail slide. That's probably all I can do. That's the point of the backyard is to progress. So here goes nothing. Why do my shins sweat more than every other part of my body? I don't get it. To be honest, I'm not quite sure how this is gonna go. I feel like switch 50-50 should hopefully be first try, but the other ones is kind of up in the air. We just go for it. There we go. I wanna do one more just for myself. Try to make it a little bit more casual. Here we go. I don't know if you guys can see by my fluorescent ears, but it is getting hot. Like it is peak heat right now. Let's try Switch 5.0. I'm hoping, I, I, I need to, it's all a mental game for me, skateboarding is. I don't know why I said that like Yoda. I try to think of skate, like Switch skateboarding, I just pretend that I can skate regular. God, it's bright. I'm just gonna try it. Come on, why is this so scary? God, why is this so scary? I'm going so slow. Ugh. Okay. Deep breaths. I'm pretending I can skate regular. I'm just doing a 5-0. I can 5-0, that's easy. Oh my God. Best one yet. That one felt good, one more. Really weird mentally. Okay. And then I was thinking, lastly, let's try switch front tail, which again, I've done before, but not, not consistently. Okay. Just like that. Ah, come on. Ah. It's frustrating, because like my brain is telling me it's just a front tail slide, which obviously is easy, but switch is a whole different story. So it feels like mentally I know how to skate, but then physically it's like not, <laughs> it's not working. No, that's bad. Right here, this is it. That's what I wanted. Oh my God. 
I got cocky. I was trying to do switch front tail to regular because I've done switch front tail to fakie. It feels kind of just like a switch front 180. Going to regular is just a whole other story, but on the topic of progressing, why not progress? All right, so I'd say she's she's breaking herself in pretty nice. We actually have like no <laughs> no board slide marks. We got some crook marks and some switch tail slide marks. Yeah, thank you, Arbor. It uh, it feels really good to be back, and I'm stoked to be a part of it all again. And I missed it. I really did miss it, and it feels it feels right. Thank you, Arbor. Thank you guys for watching the videos. Obviously, I I greatly appreciate it. Yeah, catch you guys. Catch you guys soon. Peace.